Okay, with that being said, <laughs> I forgot our line. Yeah. <laughs> What's our line? Invest. So with that being said, invest in your future. Invest with us. Sorry, where's the camera? This one. I'll get it. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs>
So actually we passed by one of the very interesting things that I found right off the bat. The stairs leading down here. Mm -hmm. So it's two steps down. Okay. But right, this these are floating steps. Yes, sort it has of. that appearance that it's floating. Yeah, so it, this is really cool. Okay. So your entrance has... At first, I thought these were koi ponds. Okay. <laughs> so it's really so, just a little water... It's pool. just a water feature for the sound. For the because, sound. Yeah, yeah it's, it's very so calming. Soothing. Right? Soothing. Yeah, the sound okay. of water I like it. Just falling off of the sides. Mm -hmm. Then... Actually, at first, from here, it just looks like regular steps. Yeah. Right? And, and then you see that there's a little gap. gap. It's like, ooh, that's Beautiful. so cool. And then it just draws your eyes to this. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> it's amazing. Look at that. This house has a whole view of the uh, entire uh, water or bay area. Yeah, you have the whole Taal Lake and mm -hmm. the volcano. The volcano. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Beautiful. You almost forget just how nice this entire interior area is. Yes. Almost, just because of the view. Right. But then once you look away from the view, it's like, wow, everything and here. you go back in here and you appreciate it. Yeah. So, what was the first thing you saw upon entering here? Like, what, what caught your attention apart from the view? Okay, so obviously the view first and then I looked up. The ceiling. Yeah. The ceiling is very intricate. The beams are exposed, right? right. And then they used a very Filipino or native rather, very native material mm -hmm. to cover the rest. So I'm not quite sure what that material is, but it makes it feel so much warmer. It feels like a modern take on um, the inside of a Bahay Kubo, because that's the same yes. kind of thing that you would see in the Nipa huts, you know. Oh, that would, looks that like does make sense, yeah. did a it, play on that, and even the... Just a neater arrangement of it, right. yeah. And the, the, the windows there, the clear story windows. Clear story windows, yeah. It brings more light in, not that you need any more, but it's <laughs> just... there's so yeah. much light. But it's, yeah, it doesn't break rest. your eye, like you still it see doesn't. the roof going down like that. It does. Beautiful. Actually, we will be able to appreciate more of the eaves later on when we go outside, but for now, let's just talk about the living area. Okay. Because it's so big. Yeah. You have this native map just to like, emphasize this entire living area. Then you have your industrial fan, which mm -hmm. you barely really need, honestly, because it's already so windy in here. But I assume during the summer days, Fans are always Maybe just to add some circulation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The nice dining area over mm -hmm. here as well. It's basically your living spaces. And I also appreciate that the owner's collection of weaponry. Right. Yeah, swords and <laughs> swords, katanas, katanas and... knives, <laughs> bolo, bolo. Okay, <laughs> they're all here on display, as well as uh, some of their art pieces and family portraits, which we are not going to zoom in, by the way. We're not gonna zoom in. We're not gonna zoom in on the portraits. Ah, okay. <laughs> the, but the artwork the I saw. Uh, the artwork. Uh, Fernando Amorsolo. Yes. These they are Amorsolo are. sketches. Yes. See? They even have it there. Amorsolo. Mm -hmm. Oh my Sketches goodness. of his. Of oh, course, we know him for his yeah. paintings, but those are sketches. The sketches. Yeah. Yeah. So clearly, they are avid right. art collectors. But it's so interesting that the dining room is right there. When you enter, you see it's all just one, just one space. living space yeah. with your li uh, living, <laughs> living and your dining. Yeah, because I imagine that this is uh, the family that comes here yeah. would have extended family as well. Because this is like a front row seat to the Al Volcano and Basically, the lake. Basically, right? yeah. So perfect for big gathering. And they really wanted to make use of this view because mm -hmm. this is the. I would say the primest lot in this entire subdivision because as far as you see from the top view it's like a fan shape mm -hmm. and this is the one in the very middle kind of like a corner lot yeah, this is... but not really a corner corner it's a soft corner right <laughs> so you see Amazing. all of that so yeah you're right it is the first or the front row view of this right amazing vista beautiful Okay, needless to say, you've got the high ceiling and everything yeah. that just emphasizes the entire feeling of wow. Okay. <laughs> okay, so before we go there, because that, like every corner of this house is amazing. <laughs> so this one, by the way, zoom in on that okay. lovely handle, very detailed. Right, it looks Mindanao one. It looks something yes. very Filipino from the south, maybe. Brass. Brass, yes. Beautiful. Yeah, brass. So this is the guest <gasps> powder room. Ooh, I love. So, so nice, right? High. Look how high. High ceiling. It also has the Clara Story windows. Yeah. And um, 
it's not a bented idea, but you know, for yeah, airflow. for circulation. Yeah. yeah, and this is like this is typical of old Filipino mm -hmm. houses, but this is a Dutch lamp, right? Like yeah. it's used to be made with gas, with gas, and to literally yeah, with fire. Electric. But of course, we don't. <laughs> right, beautiful. I love it. It's like black. But it's then, a mix of modern still. Uh -huh. It's a very it's... contemporary, very... Again, all of the pieces have so much character mm -hmm. in it. I think that's one of the things that make Imagine Max's um, projects mm -hmm. very unique. All of their houses have so much character. You'll see it later on. Yeah. Okay, so these are also hand-painted. This is an ilang-ilang yeah. flower. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, as we know, it's the base of many perfumes, but it's very Filipino. It's a native Filipino plant. Yeah. I love, I love that they featured it here. Yeah, it looks great. Oh, oh, I did not know that. So architect Miko himself painted this. Wow, that's amazing. Bonus, <laughs> amazing. I that's didn't know that. Wonderful. <laughs> right? Okay, you first. Let's head to the right side. Right side. And this is the formal kitchen. Oh, so wow. I love the formal kitchen. You have your island counter with your built-in oven. Oven. Wait. No, this, this is, is a dishwasher. This is the dishwasher. <laughs> this is the oven. Yeah. Your refrigerator and your chiller. So all the drawers are so nice. Ooh, with soft closing mechanism. And I love that it's solid wood yeah, and not just laminate. Good. Right, that's very yeah. good. Accented by these really sleek handlebars. Mm. <sighs> the marriage of the wood, the granite, the steel. And this is like a really good range. Industrial range. And nice how interesting that they put it here and... With this oh, view. With view. Exactly. Look at that. You're looking at the volcano. Like, <laughs> I wouldn't mind cooking every day if that's my view. Amazing. Exactly. Oh. I wouldn't mind washing dishes either from here because you can yeah, see Yeah, you also it. get a view here. Uh -huh. <laughs> and one of the things that I noticed about this one this is one of those um, very Western, mm -hmm. what do you call it? The one for pig slops? Ah, uh, yeah, so, yeah. I'm um, going to Tagalog it. But this is called like, the insincerator. It's like an insincerator. Yeah, so it's so you like a. Put your, you put your pig slops there and it's going to yeah. grind it for you so that it doesn't get your pipes all clogged. Right. And it can yeah. go straight to, you can compost the. Yeah. The bits. Because as much as this is very cool, and I think every house should have them, not every Filipino home actually does. Right. <laughs> the lights aren't broken. <laughs> someone just, someone just turning them since, on and off. That's interesting though. Yeah, but since someone did turn it on. <laughs> yeah. Look at the high ceiling. That, that ceiling, that wood ceiling is gorgeous. And, and the, of course, the lighting. With the drop lights. Yeah. Yeah. You have more storage over here and then more of this adobe wall. So the entire house uh -huh. basically is made out of this wall or now, covered this in this interesting wall. Interesting because it, like he said, it was the modern Filipino. Yeah. And of course the Filipino house, the Bahina Bato is made of adobe, right? Adobe, yeah. And this is a modernized, like it's so clean and... Um, it was like a tiled yeah, version of it. Yeah, geometric and straight Which lines. surfaced, if I'm not, correct me if I'm wrong, around the 50s? Yeah, I think so. The 50s, 60s, super uso niya at the time here in the Philippines. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, and okay. then, eventually, people were like, ah, lumang style niya. And now, yeah. it's I mean, I, it. my house has a door, Gorgeous. but it's a bahay na bato. So it's a traditional one. Even from the turn of the century, houses had a bahay na bato. Yeah, okay. 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 Wow. So, you have that bar, as you mentioned. Yeah. <laughs> And a breakfast nook, and a basic, basically a family area. This is, I imagine, a very well used part of the house because you can tell, right? That Hello. view. Who wouldn't want to sit here, <laughs> converse with family or something? Or you know what? Even just sit down alone, alone text, exactly. or whatever. Oh my goodness. Look up every now and then to see this view. It's yeah, beautiful. absolutely. But how I like the the choice of the the. It's really nice that you brought that yeah. up. So these sliding panels aren't just your typical screen. I wonder if I can bring them out. Can I bring them out? I, it's the other uh, side. <laughs> All right, here we go. So these are custom made. So usually these wood panels would have glass in between, right? Mm -hmm. But architect talked to their supplier and requested the screen mm -hmm. to be in the middle. Mm -hmm. That way it's sandwiched in between the wood. Mm -hmm. 
So it makes for that perfect um, Filipino design yeah. while a, being very practical. Yeah. It's a screen. Yeah. And of course, in the traditional Filipino house, this would have been made capiz. of capiz, right? Yeah. So now... But it, they didn't want to obstruct that view. Right. Who would want to obstruct that view? Beautiful. But look at that. Even when it casts shadows, mm -hmm. it's... No, actually, beautiful. the fact that it casts shadows yeah. like that That's makes it so interesting. Some drama. I mm -hmm. love it. And also, they chose this because of the railing. Right, so you have your screen here and then your heavy-duty mm -hmm. glass windows, which I can't move because I'm, I'm too lightweight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then out here we have this beautiful deck. So this deck is made out of ipe wood, mm -hmm. so it's resistant to warping, to corrosion. I mean, it is out in the open, right? Right. So they chose these uh, I like slats. that touch because, you know, it makes you feel... It's warm, it's nice. It's warm, it's secure, beautiful. it goes right onto the swimming pool, which it's an infinity pool again. Uh -huh. like, can you imagine just like, I doing this? <laughs> the and then sunset, and then yeah. you have this, and the colors change. It's so mm -hmm. beautiful. And I, I heard that this is a heated pool too, but I don't. I don't think you need to heat it right now. Yeah, not right now at uh -huh. least. But in maybe case, during January. Yeah, because it is the Gaitai after all, right? Yeah. 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 Gosh, it's amazing. Wow. You have wow. more of the panels, and I then I really like it. This is the oh. guest shower space for uh, shower area ah, for the pool. So after taking is... a nice dip, okay. you go here. So you have this really nice stone sink. Very practical. Very practical. Yeah, I like it. I love that the heater is just right there. It's right there. Okay, <laughs> but this is a nice yeah. touch for it's the a cubicles. Really nice cubicles. Are these... uh, uh, we in bath? Yeah. Are they diff different? And this is just a toilet. Oh, okay. Yeah. Toilet too. Where's the shower? Toilet. It's out, ah, it's in here. So you have two. So two actually, toilets. if you stare at it, the patterns are all different. All different, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But in, uh, in so, pattern. Again. Very pretty. <laughs> and the handle. Mm. So industrial. <laughs> nice. And this area this is, is the, the shower. shower. Area. Ooh, outdoor shower. It's outdoor. So it's open, you have two sets of showers. Ah. You can go out here if you wanted to. Hindi <laughs> halata, but there's a uh, lead light. Oh. Up light. Okay. So at night, that's going to look really very gorgeous, nice. right? Yeah. But right now, what we're seeing is very okay. natural. <laughs> I like that detail mm -hmm. up in the ceiling. Like, it's Sulia. Yeah. Yes. Beautiful. So technically, that's PVC, oh, but okay. it's made to look like Sulia. Yeah. Good. For that very Filipino touch. Very nice. And again, with the uh, vent or... Uh, the right. Or not? Like this. <laughs> Feeling ko ano na yun. <laughs> Blooper night. Is that one? Like, no, I was doing this action. <laughs> Ventanilla. Yeah. Yeah, Ventanilla. for the circulation so that yeah. it doesn't. Okay. Ooh. More of the adobe. Mm -hmm. And back out really to like the deck. This area. What a beautiful view. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at these Four plants. Uno. And plants, the huge, humongous plants. Okay, so I have an area huge to show you. Miliad, huge. <laughs> this is what? There's yeah. so many. It's so yeah. beautiful. Oh, look at that. It's basically a garden. It's like it's just this nice house at the top or at the edge of a cliff mm -hmm. on a garden. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so this is a very expensive. Yeah, I, of course. I feel like I should be barefoot, but okay. Lang. Oh, di ba? Sorry. <laughs> Earlier, nga, this is, what did you say? It's an expensive buy. Very Cuba. expensive. Very. Okay, like buy what? Cuba. So you have two sets of these, right? So this is a modern take on uh -huh. the Bahay Kubo. So sans the walls, right? Mm -hmm. But the ones who made these really did or really do make Bahay Kubo for a living using bamboo. So it's very intricate. It's as authentic to the real Bahay right. Kubo. Again, without the walls. Beautiful. You know, people think that's such a humble material, but these are expensive. It's hard to maintain as well. But look at how tightly woven, woven. those yeah. um, exactly. the reeds are. I don't know mm -hmm. what material that is. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. So, like inside, the, I was saying the it's, parang yeah, it's like that. that. It's similar exactly. to that. I think the difference is this is like the real yes. <laughs> Kubo reeds, as you mentioned. Yeah. The other one is more of a modern interpretation of it. It's stunning. What a this nice space. One um, 
buy Kubo it costs as much as a small house. <laughs> and there's two. <laughs> Woo! So that's the part where I say it's expensive, but it is rather authentic. So, oh, so it's beautiful, yeah. yeah it's and I like how it's right here beside the modern Beside the Filipino yeah. Baha'i, and then you have the traditional Baha'i. This is, in nice. a way, their meditation area. Oh, sort yeah. Because, again, you have that view, you have the... I love mm -hmm. the sound of the trees, the way the, the wind rustles yeah. the leaves, right? So nice. And even if you don't have neighbors, <laughs> I like that they still kept up the bamboo, bamboo yeah. Yeah, in here for a bit of privacy. Yeah. And to shield you from the sun, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Meditation or outdoor massage, yoga. Yep. <laughs> okay, careful. Morning coffee, tea. Oh yes. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Don't worry right. about my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I was worried they might uh, sink into the soil. It's okay. Okay, so there's a path here, but we're not gonna go there now. I'll show you later. Oh, okay. You may go yes. first. Beautiful grounds. Like I love all of this greenery. Mm -hmm. Huge leaves. Plants. It really adds a sense of luxury. Yeah, this no? for sure, for sure. Like the bigger the leaf, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the more expensive it looks. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at this. Right? What a vista. Yeah. So you have birds. <laughs> birds flying around. Oh, it's yeah, so nice. Birds. Oh. Oh, look. oh my gosh, oh. did you see that? That's so cool. <gasps> Cute. Would have been super cool if they had if you had caught that in slow mo, <laughs> but <laughs> Okay. So let's go out here. And on from the deck, you then have your stone tiles. Mm -hmm. Huge stone tiles, by the way. And you have the outdoor seating. Wow. So again, this is a solid slab of wood. Yeah. Not exactly live edge, so it's sanded off to be smooth. Mm -hmm. Doesn't doesn't have any corners. But yeah. Nice. Again with this view. And then the client wanted a garden. Mm -hmm. As if you didn't have a garden all around already, yeah, exactly. right? <laughs> <laughs> but they really wanted a, a garden on the same level. So this okay. is why this is here. Okay, so it's a patch of grass mm -hmm. all around all this around. corner okay. of the house okay. actually if you look at the house and i'm sure you guys have seen it from the aerial view the house looks like three diamonds mm. so right now we are in the middle diamond so that is obviously the corner of it okay and this entire corner is just the garden oh nice yeah so the roof or the eaves if you look at it from the top it's three diamonds and we are currently in the center diamond mm -hmm. and this entire corner is a garden and the reason why it was built in such a way that like three diamonds is so that each area or those three areas will have a view of this. Ah, uh, right? okay. Because just imagine if it it's was just, just one. one square. All right. Oh, they'll only get this and they'll yeah. only get that. Okay. Exactly. So at least from here, any area you're in, you're it's seeing all of it. Perfect vista. Good. Mm -hmm. I like it. Architecture. And, yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. And it really makes sense that they put a garden here because from there then you from see the that it's area. unobstructed green and then the lake it's but even this too yeah exactly it allows us the, the sun the, the, to yeah. go here create dramatic shadows and it doesn't obstruct your view of the clouds the sky yeah so it's kind of a continuity thing similar to this to mm -hmm. the uh, infinity pool right right where you see water and then it just tapers off into the <laughs> into the lake yeah this one does the same thing with the trees beautiful the like it it's amazing Nice. And then the eaves, oh my goodness, the sun, <laughs> there we go. The eaves are made out of pine. The, actually, according to architect Nico, he originally did not want pine mm -hmm. because it was very Western and not very Filipino because of the knots. But it was what was available at the time and relatively the more sustainable choice. Mm -hmm. So they went with that one and it, it looks great. It yeah. looks great. Very nice. Okay, so you have more of the garden over here. And then more of the screen panels that we right. saw earlier. For now, let's go inside. Okay, so back into the living room, and now you guys have this view. <laughs> nice. We will then see the floor. So these are square tiles. Mm -hmm. If I'm not mistaken, it's 120? 120 mm -hmm. by 120 or 140? Four feet by four feet. I'm not used to feet. <laughs> mm -hmm. I am more of a metric girl, okay, so this good. looks uh, like roughly 120 by 120 or 140 by 140. So they specifically chose a square tile because the room is square. And ah. again, because it's a diamond shape, right? So it's a pretty right. square. 
They felt Makes like sense. if it were a rectangle, it would distract okay. from your from your view, right? From your right. line of sight. Like, wow. Our eyes tend to follow certain lines. Right, right. right? Beautiful. So, so there's no the geometry to it. Mm -hmm. Nice. It's purposeful. Right. Right. So more of the Adobe and then this. <laughs> oh, I okay. like that. Elevator. Yes. It's a vacuum elevator. Huh? So it does not have wires or cables rather. <gasps> So it's just going to use that mechanism up top to suction <gasps> the platform. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> the platform wow. that you're standing on. But it doesn't shoot you up. You know, I was thinking of the Jetsons. <laughs> 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 you know, the canisters into those things. Anyways, comment down below okay. if you know the reference. But that is what that is. So it's an elevator that's air powered. <laughs> oh, wow. How interesting. Okay. I mean, I would ride it right now, but it is quite noisy since yeah. it is like ah, a vacuum. Okay. Oh. Right, now, this area is a private area. Mm -hmm. And this is your main stairs going down. So instead okay. of going up, you're going to go down later on. But for now, let's just appreciate the skylight. So again, another thing that Imagimax is kind of, you know, mm -hmm. a signature design element. So the skylight, instead of just glass, they put a pattern in there. Mm -hmm. It reminded me of um, Pabalat. Actually, mm -hmm. or uh, you know, the stencil that works for right. Filipino uh, mm -hmm. artistries. Okay, so let's check out this room first. Okay, okay. it's a huge door, enormous. <laughs> <laughs> and Ooh, this, wow, is the master bedroom. I love it. Look at this. The screens. Oh, they're so beautiful. You can see the view thanks to yeah. the screen. Oh Thank gosh. goodness they didn't go for the. Uh, Capiz, Capiz is wonderful, yeah. but it definitely would have obstructed here. the it view. Obstructed. Yeah. yeah, but see, you still get the fresh air. The fresh air, exactly. It's green. Fresh air, the wow. light, everything. There's no dramatic shadow right now in here, which is mm -hmm. still fine because it's a master bedroom. But then there's and, the, the glass sliding door, and yes, then I guess if you wanted to shut the light, like mm -hmm. just these very place. luxurious window treatments. But yeah, the curtain beautiful. is beautiful. I just noticed the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Again, a play nice in the ceiling. whole in the mm -hmm. hut, the well, the reeds that you mentioned earlier, yeah. and then the back oh, wall. Oh, I love it, Tulia. Right. Tulia, very very Filipino. Yeah. So they used Tulia and then hard or solid wood, and I oh, love that they made this, this into the door of the <gasps> tulba. Oh, the Beyonce tulba. I love it. That's so nice. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's resort-like almost, right? Very beautiful. Yeah, so you have your counter, your mirror, then you can still see the view through the mm -hmm. Sulithia. And you have your enclosed shower space, your water closet, okay. and then more of the panels. And a balcony, so you can mm -hmm. still go out. You can, you could. Oh, I love how hindi na kukulog dito, <laughs> ever. Really, huh? Oh, nga. The entire house is very breezy. Oh, I love, I love, I love. Yeah. And even the texture of the Cabinets, yeah, ba bamboo, and also the light switches. I forgot to mention this earlier, but they're all about a meter high, so very accessible to anyone, like okay. even kids. Yeah, makes sense. Right? Maybe like cute little fan, and then the the closets just open. Mm -hmm. It's also interesting to see that the room isn't actually that big. Mm -hmm. It's just the right size, okay. but it feels enormous because of the space. Right. Right. And back out into the hallway oh, and then wow. more yeah. rooms to explore. <laughs> it's so windy outside. Okay, then yeah. bedroom number two. <gasps> more <laughs> of the panels. Oh, nice. Look how high this mattress is. It's so thick. Is it what, 12 <laughs> inches? No, it's more than. It's like Princess and the Pea. <laughs> it's so thick. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. That air. This. This is a, um, well, it's not at the corner of the mm -hmm. lot, so your view is more of the trees. Yeah, but hello, but still, just the trees. <laughs> just the trees and a bit of the lake. Yeah, yeah. a little bit. <laughs> it's still more than most houses. <laughs> I love this though. I love that, yeah. This rosette's amazing. I wonder if it's an antique. No. It, it almost looks like an antique. Yeah. <laughs> it's so intricate. Very. Oh, okay. Okay, your hair is just being blown and we're indoors, we're not even... Because there's like a wind. Right? Oh. Yeah, the, the vent oh. cross ventilation is... <laughs> oh, yeah. So the onsite hot and bath is shared between these two rooms. So right. two sets of sinks, 
your uh, water closet and then your mm -hmm. shower space. Shower space is gorgeous, by the way. You have the wooden slats. Ooh. Very Asian. I like very, that. It's quite Japanese. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But of course, this being an Asian home, it doesn't really. Like, Nisha na ikipag Yeah. I like this. Wow, that wind. That's a lot of wind. Are you meaning that? That's, that's some strong wind. It's howling. <laughs> and then more of the Sulihia. Oh, okay. And then off to the third bedroom. Okay, so you have again Claire Story, windows, high uh -huh. ceiling, the fan, the panels. I thought it was literal. Na. Oh. <laughs> Just the trees. <laughs> but I guess. But it's look more... at the door though, you got a nice. <laughs> but I guess this is like. Numbers. It's more of an office yeah, it's, yeah. or a family area. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could turn it into a bedroom, I guess. If you need it, yeah. Okay. But oh, still, when you open drama. this. Beautiful. Right? Yeah, look at this wall here. More the of their collections. They have Filipino a lot of art, art pieces, actually. Yeah. Not just paintings right. or sketches, but they have um, figures, figurines, yeah. and metalwork. Mm -hmm. Look and I that's... like how the Filipino art is from, there's from like uh, Ifugao, mm -hmm. and there's Mindanao. From all over the Philippines. All over the Philippines, yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's go down first. Yeah. Okay. Oh, the staircase. this is I feel very... like a princess. This, speaking of which, these are senorita steps. What does that mean? Low. They're quite low. Ah, yeah, 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 right? yeah. Okay. So it's easy on the knees, easy to go down and up, wow. especially for seniors, right? True. And you can tell it's easy because John isn't struggling <laughs> <laughs> taking the video going up oh, and down the stairs. Okay. Okay, so now that we can appreciate the main stairs from here, which is how people normally would have seen their main yeah. stairs, right? It's interesting that the owners actually salvaged some of their treads, the stairs, from their ancestral home mm. and then put it here. Wow. So not all of the planks are from the ancestral mm -hmm. home because some of them had to be reshaped due to mm -hmm. the shape of the stairs. But around 80%, I wow. believe, of it came from that. So that's a really nice story. Yeah. Right? Really for true. like for them, like a talking point or a mm -hmm. conversation piece for anyone <laughs> they bring in this house. As if you would lack in any conversation I know. <laughs> pieces. Okay, so this is the it's kind of weird, you know, it's like the, the basement. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right. you know, I haven't thought of that. Let's just go with basement for sake of this video, but it's not. <laughs> Lower ground. Lower ground. Lower Much ground better. Lower sense. ground floor. This is oh. one of the guest bedrooms. Wow, how many bedrooms are here? There are six. Wow. So we're going to see three more, or okay. rather two more after this one. I like this. Okay, so like the master bedroom, you can mm -hmm. have a view of this, although you are a little bit lower. Right. And again with the Sulihia. I love saying that. <laughs> I know. This is like a bigger bed than the others. It I is. Like it. It's a wider bed. Oh, okay. And this is the walk-in closet, which does not have clothes. Okay. <laughs> and then a bigger version of the door. Mm -hmm. the so the okay. toilet and bath is very similar to the one in the master. Yeah. Toilet and bath. So two sinks, mm -hmm. water closet. Shower space, except this one does not have the wood slats. Right. right. But it still has that breeze. Yeah. It's amazing. Amazing ventilation. Mm -hmm. Oh, and shoe cabinet. <laughs> I should get one of these. These are these are so nice. It yeah. had so much texture. Even if it's on wood, which you would think, oh, mm -hmm. texture on texture. I know. <laughs> they warm up your house, Delaga. It's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay, and oh. this is storage. Okay. Beautifully done with more Sulihia in white. Ah, is it for their linen? Sorry. It's, it's, it's for a lot of things. It's their, <laughs> it's their stocks of tissues, etc. Yeah. Okay. There's a little mini mm -hmm. peacock chair. Mm -hmm. There's, there were also two of them. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The upper ground. And then this oh is my the... Goodness. This is like a vintage... It's probably from their childhood. Mm -hmm. So That's it's a, a it's really baby's old, room. Yeah. Yeah, they were just able to maintain it really well. Uh -huh. It's a nice crib and everything, the wardrobe. Ooh. <sighs> rocking chair. Classic Filipino this looks like a pull-out. Is it? No, it's not. No, no, okay. it's just it's a, a regular day bed. day bed with a thick cushion. <laughs> it's like about six inches or something. <laughs> and then again with oh, the shared 
toilet and bath. Okay, so they got the, the, the floor. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So it's very similar to the one above, so similar layout. Oh, another one. Okay. But it doesn't feel right. the same. Like, uh -huh. it's a different element to it. So on this oh, floor, they have a... Yeah, they have a garden. They have an herb garden. Mm -hmm. So, can you see it? <laughs> Kita ba? <laughs> yeah. So from here, you can see the nice little herb garden. So if you, we can open this up and then go out. Actually, later we can. We can, later. Yeah. Okay. And this is the other guest bedroom. So again, you have a view of the main stairs, but from a different floor. <laughs> yeah, it's just beautiful. Oh, I love that. You can see the cracks of the wood. Yeah. <laughs> Goes to show it, it came from a different house. Okay, can we go out here? Okay. Mm. Oh, check this out. Wow. It's a peacock. Right. So hopefully it's... Can you, can you see it? So nice. So nice. Nice and detailed. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think I closed it even more. Other way. Push. I think it's locked. Oh, wait. It, no, it's not locked. Is it push? No, nope. pull. Oh, it's pull. Okay. Okay. I'm scared. I don't want to break doors. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I love doors, but doors seem to not love me back. Oh, <laughs> oh it's a gym. Okay, yeah, so they have a gym here, which is like the, the layout is a little temporary right now but this yeah. is the gym area still with the view okay and then more outdoor seating there's still a lot of space oh my goodness it almost doesn't feel like a regular house it feels more like a, a resort like a, yeah <laughs> they oh, can, oh a this area is a massage room well okay so it's one huge room other side is a gym other side is a massage area okay i mean why wouldn't you Right. <laughs> Could totally be like a resort, you're right. Yeah. And then this area, oh. although we're not gonna go in anymore, yeah. this is the staff area. Mm -hmm. so it's very big. We have a service um, service area for your laundry, your everyday kitchen or daily kitchen, more eating, um, not eating, but like dining areas. Yeah. With three rooms for, for your staff. For the staff. Just for your staff. Amazing. Yeah. Okay. It's in so we don't really want to bother yeah. them. <laughs> I like how there's like sitting areas everywhere. Get your <gasps> more workspace. Mm -hmm. This is the laundry. Oh my actually. goodness! Oh, look laundry at this. area. This is the side of the infinity the pool. pool. So it's still like a feature that you it can is. enjoy. It's not just in the back. You can hear the water oh. sloshing. Oh my gosh! I like this. It's so nice. Nice soups. So these oh, are wow. almost like floating blocks as well yeah similar to the one the, the entrance, entrance. Mm -hmm. oh. except this one you can actually touch the water <laughs> and you can hear it's it very... and then, oh my gosh volcano yeah. <laughs> like i don't even know what time of day i like this house in like it yeah. looks amazing in the morning in the afternoon probably even at night although at night granted that this is untouched mm -hmm. natural landscape it's probably very very dark <laughs> Perhaps I think so, which but, I'm not afraid of. Yeah, because to me but that's look at, magical. You could see all the birds. Mm -hmm. How beautiful it is. Okay, so if we continued here, oh, they have a an unfinished garden. This is still a work in progress. Yes, it's still a work in progress. Mm -hmm. So again, a nice little okay. garden corner, and yeah. my goodness. So oh, you don't need to go down because of your shoes. But this is a nice. Like sink area. Oh, okay. Like, yeah, I don't know. It That's reminded cute. me of uh, Japanese yeah, yeah, countryside. Yeah. That's like, nice. kind of aesthetic. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. you have that log and then you have a stone sink. And it just looks I so like nice. That. All right. Well, let's go back the way we came. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> I mean, they do have a lot of plants. It's amazing. Okay. All right. Oh, oh gosh. Look at that. Look it's like a runway. It's. Oh, nice. Right. That would be a nice photo. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> or a nice thumbnail for the YouTube video. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's look so at that. Nice. And also, these probably look really nice at night. Mm -hmm. When the light oh, is just light. Yeah. going down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go back. 
Oh, and from here you can see the stilts. Oh my goodness. <laughs> because we okay. are at the edge of a cliff almost. Yeah, that's like major construction. Oh major, my major construction. So it was amazing that architect Miko mentioned earlier that they were basically just a one-stop shop mm. for this entire project, right? So the client talked to one person, one person mm -hmm. only, and that person had to coordinate everything. <laughs> Oh. From the design to the yeah. uh, aesthetic architecture and the structural integrity of this That's house. That's amazing. Because I believe the client, although they knew that they had a lot at, at, like, at a cliffside, which obviously has mm -hmm. different levels of terrain, they wanted it to be easily traversed or easily walked on. Yeah. So only two floors. But how do you do that when you're at the edge? <laughs> right, so they had to prop it up <laughs> right with the these side of stilts. <laughs> And make space. Yeah. yeah, but this is their property all the way down. It is so one thousand, or rather three thousand square meters. Three thousand square meters. Square meters. Of lot area. Yeah, and the house is only one thousand seven hundred. Yeah, yeah. So that's a lot of ground they have. Okay. Mhm. Mm so I don't really know what the border is for their property, but I mean, regardless, it's not like they're gonna get neighbors anytime soon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that's another fun fact. Uh, there's only about four of them living in the subdivision. In the subdivision. Okay. Yeah. I guess the others were a little intimidated by, <laughs> <laughs> by having to construct a house here. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Imagine Max did a good job. Really. I like that there's a, this uh, walkway. walkway all around the house. All around the house. So this is the family area. Mm. This is the bedroom number four. The one that we saw, okay. Yeah, bedroom number four. And eventually five and six. So let's go up the... This is a huge house. Like, I'm huge. tired. Right. <laughs> yeah. I could do your steps, you, like walk around and you get like... You know, I'm not wearing my smartwatch. I know, smart I wear <laughs> I wish I did, because I'm pretty sure we would have reached the daily requirement. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so more of the pine, the eaves, and this is the garden. <laughs> Oh, I love this garden. Yeah, Look at the herbs. Mm -hmm. So perfectly protected with this canopy. With the, um, yeah. What do you call the. There's a term for the mosquito net. <laughs> what? what do you want to Tagalog? Oh my gosh. Comment down below if you know what I mean. <laughs> Tagalog for mosquito net? Yeah, yeah. Kulambo. Kulambo. There we go. Yeah. There. Oh, look like at Kulambo. that. Sorry, I'm so into these herbs. <laughs> wow. Rosemary. Mm -hmm. Mint. This Mint. is this is thyme or oregano. Wow. Oh, you know your basil. Herbs. Then they have Look one. They extra have lettuce. Style. Very nice and stylish. Very. It's like raised beds. Yeah. Oh. Perfect climate too. They have a greenhouse here for ornamental plants. Mm -hmm. And that. then. How do they do this? Yeah, this is um. It's just, plastic. Yeah, you could DIY yeah. it, pala, no? Like a tent. Sorry, yeah. getting ideas. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> right? You could DIY oh, this. I'm pretty sure other people are also getting ideas from mm. all of this. Okay, so this one leads to the front or the main entrance. Mm -hmm. But we're not going to go through okay. this path. We're going to go back to back the... Back end. Yeah, to bedroom number so six. So we basically went around the house. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. You know, the, it just dawned on me that whatever we saw in the upper ground Translates. mirrored the lower ground. Yeah. yeah. The layout. The layout of the bedrooms. Mm -hmm. Very similar uh -huh. in layout. There we go. Nice. Ah. Ooh. I was actually able to do it with one arm. Because <laughs> <laughs> to show how light it is. And we're back here. Okay. So more of the art pieces. Oh, some of the lights are now, the down light or up lights are now turned on. So we I can see it. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that is it. We're back here. Should we try the elevator? Do you want to try the elevator? Sure. Are you going with me? Yeah, sure. Okay, Let's so we're try not it. Get stuck together. Mm-hmm. Let's hope not. He's <laughs> well, that's interesting. Okay. I've never <laughs> ridden in one of these before. I mean, I'm sure it feels like an elevator. <laughs> it's just. It's amazing that there are no wires. It's. It's just. It's just. It's just air pressure. Speaking of air pressure. <laughs> wow. So I assume these numbers mean 240 pounds. I think we're okay. Yeah, we're okay. <laughs> we're, we're below 240 pounds. 
combined. What's that sound? I think it's unlocking. Okay. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Weird. Did you know that there is a telephone? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There we go. Ah! Oh, it's actually quite fast. Yeah. Wow. Good to know there's a phone in case we get stuck. Yeah. It's like, Nico! Help! Get us out of here! Oh. Ooh, it sounds so futuristic. futuristic. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. Gattaca. Love it. <laughs> Well, that okay. was fun. Time for a recap. Yeah. Right, so lots to hi, talk architect. about. Hi. <laughs> hi. 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 Right. Wow. Um, that so was a lot of floor to cover. Yes. We did. Um, let's sit down. Okay, let's sit because <laughs> because there's a lot of floor. There's a lot of floor area. Holy moly. Oh, 1,700. I mean, at first I thought, okay, 1,700, this big a space, maybe it's not a big deal. It's a lot of space. <laughs> it's a lot of space. Yeah, so we really had to bring up the gardens. Mm. So that's what took majority of the floor area. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. This outside area is yes. amazing on both floors. Yes. So I like how each cup. area, each room had a view of yeah. you know, mm -hmm. whether it's the volcano or the yeah, that, garden. That's actually, interesting you mentioned that because when we were conceptualizing the house with the owner, I came up with three general schemes, mm. and the first two I'd say are kind of standard. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, on a whim, I came up with a wild card option, which is a third one. Mm -hmm. So if you see the shape of the house is actually three diamonds. Mm -hmm. yeah, three diamonds. And I did that so that every space would have a view. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I was so lucky that the client, client actually was, chose yeah, that one. was open minded and actually went for the wild card option. Right. And the wraparound porch, everybody yes. called this like veranda. Mm -hmm. That was actually a request of the client oh. that oh. all of the rooms have a balcony or outdoor access. Oh, so that's why. Well, it worked really well. Yeah, with the with the diamond, mm -hmm. triple yeah. diamond right. design. Yeah. My goodness. It, yeah. it must be an architect's dream to get a client who actually wants that avant-garde design. As yes, compared definitely. to definitely. I mean, <laughs> when, the, when the client respects your opinion or your point of view, especially if you want to do something a little bit out of the box, <laughs> it's mm -hmm. definitely yeah. an opportunity. So I bet you were very excited to work on this one. Yes. How long? How long did it take? It took over two years to build. Over two That's years. And That's our, uh, yeah, about a year to design. Wow. wow. But, well, I mean, it is a very complicated design, right. it being on stilts and everything. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. But I really also like the soft touches, like the, the way the decor has, you know, fit into the architecture. It, yeah. They both, I mean, because you, you all did it and you're the yes. one stop shop of Actually, all that. The, the client didn't want anything too stiff. So right. it's a combination of their old pieces from an old ancestral home. Mm -hmm. And then pieces we just collected. Mm -hmm. So she she wanted it to be authentically Filipino. It is. It is very, I mean, very if you look authentic. around, you'll see the north to south. That's what I said. Yeah. I noticed yeah. all the artwork. Yeah. 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 Daphne definitely Beautiful. mentioned that one earlier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really, Mindanao yeah. touches yes. and also the Ifugao Balul. Right. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Even these the, these, these textiles the patterns, yeah. are all Filipino. And Beautiful. The fabrics that you chose. Well, I'm not sure if you <laughs> chose them, but well, I'm pretty the, sure you had handed the, it. The, the team. <laughs> the team. Yeah. yeah. Very oh nice. Goodness. It's the perfect, like, modern Filipino. And usually mm -hmm. in Filipino, well, correct me if I'm wrong, but oftentimes I see Filipino design houses and it's just Ifugao, for example. Right. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it is nice that when you know when you uh, mentioned from yeah. Definitely South, a yeah. showcase of Filipino. The Filipino uh, the art. The Filipino house, yeah. yeah. And, and the art, in yeah. general, Beautiful. not just the architecture, but everything in it. <laughs> we like it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, so I really loved the design. As I mentioned earlier to Daphne, I really appreciated how this, the infinity pool just never seemed to end. Water to the lake and then the garden is garden to trees to sky. It's amazing. Okay, so recap. <laughs> Hi. So we have 1,700 square meters of floor area on a 3,000 square meter lot area. That's six bedrooms, four toilet and baths, a separate female staff quarters, male staff quarters, each with their own toilet and bath, guest powder room, several parking spaces. Mm -hmm. And again, this is in a prime lot right here 
in a sort of corner <laughs> area of the subdivision with an amazing view. So if you are interested in building your dream home that looks something like this, mm -hmm. you now know that Architect Miko of Imagimax can do something like this. And if you enjoyed it, make sure you comment down below. And with that, Architect Miko, thank you for showing us around. And how are they going to get in touch with you if they want to build a home like this? Um, so if you want to get in touch, you could click the link below and contact the number also listed. In the description. <laughs> Okay, so again, thank you for showing us around. Thank you, Daphne, thank you. for joining me and thank appreciating you so all of this. Much. It's unforgettable. <laughs> I love it. And yeah, hopefully one day I can get to call you and build me a dream house. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> dream. dream. Emphasis on the dream. <laughs> hey, you never know. So that being said, thank you again for watching another pre sell BYO or build your own. Invest in your future. Invest with us. Invest with pre sell Hey guys, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, make sure you click here. And if you want to see more house tour videos, click right here. And we also have this new thing called Working Lunch with Priscilla, where I and a few random people talk about a few random things related to uh, real estate. So if you want to join in on the conversation, make sure you click right here. <laughs>